Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. In this video, we're going to be showing you a pretty quick video on how to upgrade the SSD on your ASUS ROG Ally. It's actually really simple. We're going to be using ASUS's own cloud recovery tool that's built into the BIOS of the machine itself. Also, I'm glad that I waited to do this video just a little bit because the new BIOS update that happened on May 25th, they actually streamlined the process a bit. It used to be that you had to reset the secure boot parameters on the device itself before you can continue. That no longer looks to be the case. So quite literally, you just have to open up the device, put in the SSD, and you can get going. So I'm going to show you a quick how-to video right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So in this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade your SSD and then install Windows using the Asus Cloud Recovery. So first thing first, we're going to start by removing these six screws. I'll go ahead and fast forward this part for you. Okay, so with the last of the screws removed, just make sure that you kind of place them in order. So I just have them off on the side over here so you can see the top row and then the bottom row. Notice that the bottom middle screw right here, this one is actually a bit smaller. So this is why you're going to want to make sure that you kind of put them in a place that the order is specific to where they go. At this point, we're gonna be using a plastic sponger tool to go ahead and open up this device. One of the things that you can do is you can try to get in through the crevice right here to try to gain purchase to start opening up the device. Uh, technically, right over here is where everything starts to come apart. So we're gonna go ahead and find a way in here. Looks like my spider tool. Now I've already opened up this device a few times prior. So it might be a little bit easier for me to, to get in initially. But you basically just want to get these clips going and then once those clips come off, then everything comes off really easy. So we'll go ahead and put that on the side. At this point, you can put your plastic spudger tool away. Now under here is where the SSD is. So I have my new SSD right here. We're gonna go ahead and keep that on the side and we're gonna go ahead and start removing this. Uh, now, a lot of people have been bringing this up, at least I saw this a few times. Some people are concerned about having the battery in or not when you're replacing this. You can just go ahead and remove this cable to remove the battery. Honestly, for me, I'm not a big, I don't really care about that. I care more that you aren't, uh, I care more that you're, you know, potentially grounded and I'm not wearing any grounding straps or anything, but I mean, you can tell, just don't do this on like carpet, right? Don't do this on carpet with like socks on and and rubbing your feet against the carpet, just building up a nice static charge for yourself. My lighting situation could be a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and get underneath it here and then pull it out. Everything's a little bit more difficult when I have to do this through a viewfinder. Okay, so the SSD has been removed and now we're going to go ahead and put in our replacement. Now you can also go into the BIOS and disable secure boot, like reset it before you go ahead and do this, but you can actually do that afterwards as well. So, alrighty, so that is not connected. Now, I only had a, a spare 512 gig, so I'm replacing a 512 gig with a 512 gig. This is not something that you'd be doing. Obviously, you'd be having a, a capacity that was far greater than this, or less, depending on what you were trying to accomplish. At this point, we can go ahead and screw this back in. All right, so the SSD has been replaced and now we're going to put in the battery terminal, connect it, and there you go, you're done. Now at this point we can go ahead and screw everything back together, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And then we have to apply power to the device before we power it back on and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, and you should notice an, an amber light appear showing that it's getting power. Okay, and then at this point now we can go ahead and power it on. All right, so it looks like it just jumped me straight into there without giving me a big red warning screen. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and press Y. Now this is the newer BIOS and it looks like the resetting of the secure boot is not necessary on the new BIOS. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna take a look and see it says, platform mode is on setup, but secure boot is not active. To use ASUS Cloud Recovery, it does want to have that enabled. So again, I just wanna show you real quick what I just did here. Uh, if you go into advanced and you go to the first button, which is ASUS Cloud Recovery, we're gonna start going ahead and jumping into this. So we're gonna go and view policy. This acts as a mouse, the right analog stick. And A is basically left click. Yeah, okay, there it goes. All right, that's kind of annoying. So let us try to just tap, 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 tap. All 
So at all right, so at this point it says it can't connect to the network because there is no wired network. So it's going to attempt to connect to a wireless. So I'm going to show you that right next. All right, so I'm kind of hiding my SSID up here, but you can see that if the SSID would be up there, you get a list. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter my password for my wireless, and then it'll automatically connect. Uh, just quickly mentioning right here, there, right there is the shift key. So if you need to capitalize the letters, that is what you're going to click for capital letters. All right, and then when you connect to your Wi-Fi, you'll see this screen right here. All right, so then you're going to take a look at the screen. You're going to go ahead and click Next. And then you're going to start the recovery process. At this point, you can basically put your device down. It might be wise to connect it to power just so that if it's on battery, it doesn't shut off while it's doing its update. So we'll go ahead and connect power to the device. All right, we have power coming to the device and we'll wait for this to finish its update and see what happens. All right, so it looks like we finished that initial part, so we're going to go ahead and click Confirm to continue. Now, what's going to happen here is that once this loads up, it's actually going to deliver a few additional payloads to get all of the software up to date automatically. So this includes Armory Create SE and all the other software that's needed for the Ally to run well. So you kind of just want this to go through its paces. You can see that it automatically started to load a few things in the background right there. So we even got this new loading screen that popped up right in front of our face. And then we just basically wait for this to finish. Uh, so we'll show you some of these screens. And this is going to take a period of time. So just let it do its thing and kind of sit back and relax while it does what it needs to do. And then you can go ahead and use your ally using cloud recovery and having a brand new SSD installed while having your machine basically be factory fresh. Oh, well, that's an interesting screen. Do you want to back up your files first? Uh, see, cloud recovery process will erase your personal data. We recommend that you back up everything to an external hard disk before proceeding. Um, do you want to back up? No, well, I put in a new SSD, but that's interesting that it actually allows you thinking that if you have your SSD in there, that it'll still kind of back up your data. That's actually pretty sure. Are you sure you want to start the, <laughs> yes. Okay, so that is pretty interesting that it gives you that option still. But we put in a new SSD, which is obviously blank, so we can just skip that part and let it go through this process right now. And right there you can see it's installing the graphic driver for the ROG only. So you can just see that it just flickered and it's rebooting. And don't touch anything here. You're going to see some like out of box experience stuff, OOBE stuff. Don't touch anything. Just let it automatically figure everything out and just wait. So this is what you're going to see like after it just rebooted after installing that driver. Again, don't touch anything. Just let it finish doing what it needs to do. So there you go. You now have the Windows 11 startup screen. Again, you didn't have to touch anything. It'll just get to this and now you can set up Windows 11 however you need. Once you go ahead and sign in, you can actually select if you've had other devices that you've already had Windows 11 on. You can choose to restore from those particular devices or you can set up as a new device. I'm going to go ahead and set this up as a new device. And then right here, you're going to say yes to this. This one's actually super important because you want to make sure that you get your fingerprint on there. So you're just going to go ahead and keep on pressing on it. Alrighty, and here we are. It is all done. Now you have Windows 11 installed. You get this little prompt that tells you stuff and things about Windows 11 being great for a touch. We're going to kind of close this because we don't care about that. But at this point, you should be able to just bring up Asus's Armory Crate, which it says... Welcome to the first time of use, and that's pretty much it. You are done. You've now gone ahead and set up your Asus Ally. Yes, please run that at setup. This is just little stuff. Great. All right, we'll quickly look at the size of the disk. This should have automatically expanded to the max, which again was 512 gigs. And there we are. It is all done. Super simple to get this done using Asus's cloud recovery and gets you up to a point where it installs everything that you need to get it working exactly how you want it to be. All right. Well, that's it. Hopefully this was informative. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.